Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and here we are with Newark again. So I'm just having a little wander around the classic section, so yeah, let's get to it. Nice jag there. Quite a late one, but still cool. Ah, an A-type. MJ. I think it's a good turnout here this week. Oh, this month. Alpha. That's an unusual one, an old daff. I've seen one of those in a long, long time. And the Rover. Oh, yeah. These are cool cars, I do like these. Is P5 or P6? I can never remember. Another interesting little alpha. The obligatory Land Rovers. Series 2 there, I think, yeah. So caught my eye as well. Foxhall uh, bus. Foxhall Bedford. Better behave. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know if you caught it yet, but uh, there is one here that is absolutely top of my list. Ford F Series. Den side. God, I love these trucks. F100. This is nice. This is a nice example. License plates. I know. One of these days, I'm gonna. You will see another one of these on the channel. Uh, maybe a later one. Maybe an earlier one. I don't know. We'll see another one at some point. Because I will have another. That is a nice one. That is a very, very nice. I like the colour. Like the stance, really nice period. Very nice period colours. Slightly modern wheel, but it works well with it. I like it a lot. Okay. We'll <laughs> try and say to yourself. wind here at the moment because it is uh, quite breezy. favourite of mine. Yeah, just cool old buses these. Oh, 
another bit of Americana. That's pretty tidy. For sale. There's another one that caught my eye. I've seen this one a couple out, out and about a few, in a few different shows. Chevrolet, of course. Very tasty. I like the wheels on it. I'm usually not a big fan of the, the huge rims, but they do look good on this. Of course, the Scirocco. This is one of those cars that's quite weird to me, because I can remember a buddy of mine uh, heading to, along to the VW dealership to uh, actually test drive one of these when they were new. It doesn't seem that long ago. But it was. <laughs> Obviously, if you've seen my uh, transit videos, you know I like the teal and cream, and it's probably what's going to get uh, what will be put on the VW when it's when it's ready to be done. Uh, yes, nice old rally weapon here. one I actually enjoyed rallying. Of course, uh, Mark 1 Capri. I've seen this the last time we were here. Still have not bought myself a car. Mini, mini wagon. these. I don't know what it is about them, I just like them. Let's take a quick look on the other side. Oh, wait a minute, gotta go look at this. Mach 2 Cortina. Oh, the tasty example as well. Sixteen hundred A. Big fan of those. Yes. I got stretched rims. Stretched. It's stretching the call whether put a smaller tire on the bigger rim. Don't know. But uh, Mondeo. Still like these. This, this is my favourite period of Mondeo. I think Ford just got the styling right and everything with this this generation. Audi, and of course, classic Mini. Citroën, or Citroën as we call them in England. Kind of cool. Now I've seen these about and I have no idea what they are. The catering or something like that? Uh, not a catering. Uh, ah, don't remember anyway. But uh, is that the one that Jeremy Clarkson was driving where his uh, face was coming off? 
don't know, don't remember. Moving on. Classic Rangy. Very nice one. Two thousand and seven Mercedes, which I don't find as a classic yet. Oh, this is nice. Admittedly, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I don't like it. Also, no, it's six four. I doubt I would ever fit inside of the. I'm going to turn the camera off because I know there's a few further along there, so I'm going to take a walk along and see what there is. Oh, actually, there's a few back there as well, isn't there? Is there? Yeah, I got distracted by the uh, F100, so you have to forgive me. I've uh, missed, missed half a roll. Yeah, I think I made it to the, mo uh, the Moggy Miner. Sprite. I'm not really up on British uh, sports cars. Volvo, of course. T5, T4. I don't remember. That's an Audi. Well, I'll blow my socks off. Uh, classic Landy there again. So far, it's, uh, it's a station wagon. Uh, it's at the Safari one of them. Again, long time ago since I haven't had anything to do with Land Rovers. Don't remember, but uh, these are cool. I like these, these 4x4s. Uh, VW. Is it? I think they did a van version as well, didn't they? Of course we have the, uh, the Ram from last time and the uh, Apocalypse Bug. This is still cool. I, I, I don't know something like this. I don't know uh, how legal it is to drive on the roads here in the UK, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of things kicking around the yard that I, you know, could do something like this on. Let's have a walk down here. Because, uh, like I say, I got distracted and I see another nice Chevy down there. I think we've seen that one before. I've seen a rather striking uh, VW convertible. It's funny, I was never into VWs when I was younger, and, and just since I got the camper van, I don't know, I started appreciating them more. Nice pearlized paint on that, that's a really nice paint finish. Again, something we've seen the last time I was here. Little Morris, is Morris on Ross Austin. Hillman Imp. Interesting little cars, these. Uh, rear engined, kind of a British version of a Beetle, I guess. But uh, yeah, a little bit quicker than a Beetle, if I recall. Another. That TVR? Not sure. 
like I said, I'm not I'm not a uh, big on uh, sports cars, British or otherwise. Oh, I do recognise that one. That is a Lotus. Okay, so I do know a few British sports car brands. <laughs> Crown Vic, seen that a few times. A little Jeep, Jag. Also, we've got some interesting things down here. This is diesel because I know I've heard it a few times. But uh, right at the moment, I have got my eye on a mid 80s F350 and it's a carbon chassis uh, 73 IDI. I would like to go and take a closer look at it at some point, but uh, I need to get some of my other projects under control before. I'll go off buying another another vehicle, but I was, this is something like what I was thinking about doing. Just a, just an ordinary uh, flatbed. Not uh, getting into uh, doing a dually uh, bed and everything on it. Just a something along those lines. It's nice one, that. I'll be right back again. Let's have a walk over this way. I'll turn the camera off for a moment because I've got to cross through the uh, crowds to get to the other section. Hear me over the wind here because I moved over to the other section and it is a lot more breezy over here. But a uh, nice selection of all Land Rovers there. I like the classic Range Rover, the two door. I think out of all the original Range Rovers, the two door is still my favourite. But uh, interestingly, we've got a forward control Land Rover down there. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. Well, let's have a walk along here, see what else we've got. There's a camper van there. Mine will look something like this. I think it's uh, actually this has got the bumpers on that I, I actually prefer. Mine have got the more squared off ones, but uh, are these the earlier ones? I'm not sure. Yeah, these are like the, the earlier 60s versions. I do like them. I just like that more rounded styling to them. Also prefer the wheels as well. Uh, mine's got the, the cutouts in them, where these are the more solid, solid rim. Of course, the Jag there. My set of rims on that as well. Well, Morris Minor, or Traveller, sorry. Don't want to, uh, trigger the purists. <laughs> Another Land Rover, Sierra, I've seen that last time we were here. I think that's about it. Oh, wait a minute, that's, uh, no, I think that's it. Well, there we go, just a little bit of a look around at the new Auto Jumble Classic section today. Uh, I've got my cell phone with me, so if I see anything else more. So I've got my cell phone with me, so if I see anything else interesting, I'll. Uh, take a few shots but uh, yeah some really really nice stuff here today I think the highlight for me is the F100 uh, I 
just I'm just nuts over American pickup trucks in particular Fords uh, 70s through to the 90s and uh, so that one really really made my day did enjoy seeing that and it's stuck me up now it's uh, <laughs> to start to uh, head off onto eBay and have a look see if I can see one that I can't afford because right now I have got too much money invested in projects as you know so anyway there we go there we go. oh wait a minute there's a dodge pulled in I didn't see that earlier and well that's a Capri leaving along there It's a nice old Dodge Woods, not, uh, not that old, but still, you know, it's interesting to see. I got another TR7 there, next to the little, not sure what it is. Oh, there we have it. Just a quick walk around in some of the uh, classics here. And uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Landy pulled in there. So there we go, that's it from Newark Auto Jumble Classic sections and why not, we'll end on my favourite here, this old F100. So yeah, there we go, you know the drill, smash that like button, subscribe and come back and see me sometime. Have a good one.